Example two for substitution. As I look at the two equations, I'm trying to isolate a variable, get one variable all by itself. For these two equations, in equation one, the work has already been done for me. In equation two, if I wanted to isolate something, I would isolate the y. Well, I'm a fan of not doing anything more than what I need to, so when I look here and I see that this y is already done, I'm gonna run with that one. In other words, Everywhere in the second equation that I see y, I can replace it with 1 third x plus 5. And so the first thing I'm going to write is 2x plus, I'm replacing the y with what it's equal to from the first equation. So I can say 1 third x plus 5 equal 19. I have one equation with one unknown right here. And so I notice that there's a fraction there. Not a real big fan of working with the fractions. So I think I'm going to get rid of the fraction from the get-go. I'm going to multiply everything by 3. That would produce 6x plus, I don't really need these brackets here, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute. 3 times a third would just be 1x. 3 times 5 would be 15. Equaling, 3 times 19 is 57. Combine like terms. As I combine my like terms, I can have 7x plus 15 equaling 57. I'll move the 15 over. As I move the 15 over to the right, this becomes 7x equaling 57, take away 15. 57 take away 15 is 42. So I have 7x equaling 42. I divide by 7, it looks like x will be 6. Because I was able to solve that equation, get a value, I come up here, I know that it's going to have an intersection point at 6. Now I simply have to find out what the y value is. If I plug 6 into here, a third of 6 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7, and so my intersection point would be 6, 7. A little bit quicker than the graphing, more powerful because it will allow me to find fraction answers. It will also allow me to find rather large answers. This one I could have graphed. It wasn't the end of the world. But if it would have turned out to have been something like 1627, I can't graph that, at least not with the graph paper we're usually accustomed to using. And so, again, this is substitution. I isolate a variable. I jump to the other equation, and I plug in that rule, and then I solve. Example two, substitution.